referee, Kenny Bayless, that was the same referee for the Margarito versus Cotto fight, right? In the sixth round, I want you all to go to the 2 minute and 18 mark. Fury, as we all know, he was pulling Deontay Wilder head down the whole fight. A lot of people want to say veteran tactics, right? A lot of people want to say dirty tactics. But nevertheless, I'm cool with veteran tactics. You know, Hopkins did it. Andre Ward did it on more than one occasion. So I'm cool. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, or at least the night, it's veteran tactics. But this was more than veteran tactics because this was actually cheating tactics. Because now you doing it excessively, right? Tyson Fury was hitting Deontay Wilder on the back of his head the whole night with every single right hand, right? It's illegal to hit somebody in the back of the head every single time, man. Come on, man. I understand one and two, but not every single time. But then, forget that. He will... No, we're not going to forget that, okay? This is uh, Dante, Dante's Boxing Nation's um, predecessor. <laughs> he's his little accomplice. Um, and he said that Tyson Fury was hitting Deontay Wilder behind the head many times. Not one or two, but every single right hand, which, okay, it wasn't every single one. He's exaggerating, all right? I'm not going to just call the man a liar right now. But I am counterpunching. Kenny Bayless, okay? And I know what this I know this is where this is going. Kenny get Kenny Bayless warned Tyson Fury. Okay? And Tyson Fury did hit Deontay Wilder behind the head, okay? But let, let, let let's stop this one-sided BS. Because this is all this is. It's a bias, another bias video that I must counterpunch. Because people need to know the truth. The truth of the matter is both fighters bashed each other behind the head. Whenever uh, Tyson Fury came in the inside, Wilder, and he, and he wrapped Wilder up. Wilder whacked him behind the head because he had no other option. Andy Ruiz did the same thing in the second Joshua fight. Okay? It happens. They both hit each other behind the head. How many times... You know, I don't know. I didn't get, I didn't go and count. I probably will next week when I get back in town, when I have more room to do, you know, to for a fight study with that. But both of these guys whacked each other behind the head. In fact, I'm going to go live and do it, you know, um, so I can share it with you guys. And yes, the behind the head, the behind the head punches were there, but by both fighters. Okay, and for the record. Kenny Bayless never warned Deontay Wilder about hitting Tyson Fury behind the head. Let's continue. Pull his head every single time. And instead of Kenny Bayless, the corrupt referee, because I didn't want to really bash Kenny Bayless because he's the referee at the end of the day. Tyson Fury, if he got away with slick bullshit, that's on Tyson Fury and his team, not on Kenny Bayless. But it's his job. I, I must hold him responsible and accountable for his job that he's supposed to pay attention of doing so and this referee this quote-unquote corrupt referee was doing his damn job and matter of fact Kenny Bayless is known to over officiate fights that's my pet peeve with him he's everywhere he's all up in your nuts this guy is at your chest He's looking, he comes in. You know Kenny Bayless, this guy, he goes and does a 25 minute uh, uh, elliptical exercise or treadmill before his fights. So the guy, you can tell this guy's intense. So yes, he did his damn job. He overdid it, if you ask me. And at the end of the day, this is what happened. He warned Tyson Fury behind over the head, behind the over, behind the, um, I know before the excessive holds. So I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about. In fact, he took a point from Tyson Fury out of fucking nowhere. Why? Because he had to even the score, okay? He had to even the score, and it's weird that what the true, the true reasoning behind this is, is Kenny Bayless was a referee, I feel, was hired to help Deontay Wilder, okay? I think he was there to make sure that fight goes a certain way. Tyson Fury was getting the best of him. Deontay Wilder went down a couple times. And then guess what happened? Oh, a point deducted out of nowhere. Because both of the guys were fouling each other. If it was better in tactics or whatever tactics. Okay. Kenny Bayless took a point from Tyson Fury out of nowhere, people. 
And even we were like, okay, what, what was that for? Why did you do that, Kenny Bayless? Even though Kenny Bayless did say, I'm going to start deducting points. But, you know, he didn't specifically go to one fighter like, hey, you do that again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a, take a point from him. He didn't do that. He just said, time, one point, one point, one point, right? That's what, exactly what happened. So I don't know why this guy is saying um, that he's a corrupt referee because he deducted a point from Tyson Fury. It makes no sense at all. That's why I had to counterpunch. When I, you know, and I'm, I'm glad uh, my subscribers sent me this shit so I can counterpunch it because this is off, okay? Let me see if I can listen to anything else that makes sense or wrong. When Tyson Fury was pulling Deontay Wilder head excessively because, you know, it's okay to pull somebody head one or two times. You know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather even did it on certain occasions. You know, it's okay if you throw a hook and somebody slipped the hook. In order for you to establish control, you pulled somebody head down and then move. You know what I'm saying? It's called controlling your opponent. You being the matador, your opponent being the, the bull, right? It's okay. A lot of great fighters always do that. It's a tactic to pull the head for defense, offense, and for control. But when it's excessive, when you pushing somebody head every single time, putting your weight on him, and not just pull your head, you will put him in a headlock and then spin him around. I kid you not, in the sixth round at the two minutes and 18 mark, Deontay was complaining the whole night. He was... And guess what? He was complaining because he was getting his ass whooped. He was getting beat. He was complaining. And what did the ref do? He took a point. So what the fuck is this guy talking about? It makes no sense. These guys, quote unquote, new media, LDBC, whatever, they're looking for any reason. What did they expect Kenny Bayless to do? Fucking disqualify him just to save the O of Deontay Wilder, the loss? Dude, the man got beat. It is what it is. He got beat. At the end of the day, he got beat. He got beat. He got beat. Okay? You can't blame Kenny Bayless for that. That's why I know people, like I told you, if Kenny Bayless would have stopped that fight instead of Mark Breland, these motherfuckers would have attacked him. Why? Because they're attacking him anyway. They're looking for excuses. That's why I know without a shadow of a doubt that they were looking for excuses. They're reaching. They're looking. They're searching. They're desperately hoping that we can find another fucking excuse for Deontay Wilder instead of accept the loss. Grow the fuck up, like Mike Tyson says, accept the loss and keep moving forward okay that's my counter punch on that you guys tell me what you think about this video of course please subscribe and you guys been counter punch peace